Now, Indian startups have witnessed a 72% decline in funding during the first half of 2023 as compared to the same period last year. This despite India being one of the top performing countries across the globe with regards to funding in the private sector. Aishwarya Anand is here with more details. Aishwarya, how's funding looking? We're six months into 2023 and the funding winter continues to torment the Indian startup ecosystem. Global uncertainty with geopolitical and economic fragility has led to a freezing up of venture capital. Now take a look, just about $4 billion worth of VC investments between January and June this year. Now that's nearly five times lower than $18.4 billion secured over the same period in 2022. But mid-2022 onwards, funding started drying up after the tech route brought a decisive end to the easy money era. To put the defunding winter in context, funding for Indian startups reached the peak in Q3 2021 when nearly $12 billion were raised in a single quarter. From there, we have hit the worst quarter in the last three years in Q2 2023. In fact, the month of June was the worst since August 2020. Now that's a 34-month low. If we delve deeper, there has been a slump across all stages. But early stage startups have remained safer bets for investors, not the cash guzzling and far from profitable growth stage companies. The issue of corporate governance, product market fit and unit economics have forced VCs to tighten scrutiny at entry itself. Now, as you can see, seed and series A is easy to come by, but not series B and the follow on rounds. That has left growth stage and late stage companies on thin ice unless they have a long capital runway. In terms of the most active investors, in what's been a relatively slow year, Peak 15 Partners has topped the chart. Peak 15, which was formerly known as Sequoia Capital India, closed 21 deals in the first half of 2023, followed by Axel India and Bloom Ventures, the only other VCs who have signed a minimum of 10 deals. When it comes to sectors, e-commerce is at the top in terms of funding, but it is enterprise tech and SaaS startups that have signed the most number of term sheets. Given the chat GPT revolution, it's not a surprise to see artificial intelligence and machine learning startups coming third in terms of deals. But there is a catch, which I'll highlight in a key takeaways from the first half of 2023. It's not enough to just be an AI startup. Venture capital investors are asking for a business model and defensibility. The cautious approach is seen in the drop of 70% of funding as compared to last year. Talking about Sunrise Sector, EV stays charged as more than $1 billion have been invested in climate tech startups so far this year. Ola Electric closed the biggest deal, a $300 million round, but such deals have been hard to come by. H1 2023 witnessed only $1,400 million rounds, which is fewer than what we saw in 2021, but better than the second half of 2022. That, of course, means no new unicorns. India last saw the flight of Unicorn three quarters ago in September 2022, and the last time the Indian startup ecosystem went through such a unicorn drought was in 2017, a year in which not a single billion-dollar startup was created. Lastly, it's important to note that India's funding trend has mirrored the global decline. The silver lining is, in H123, India was ranked among the top three funded geographies after the US and the UK. The funding for startups, they're taking a beating. Thank you so much for those details, Aishwarya. And speaking of funding, let's...